Hey YouTube, I want to talk to you today about some um, holster options or one particularly good holster option for a big hunting handgun like the Colt Anaconda. This is a Colt Anaconda 44 Magnum stainless steel as you can see. It's got a 6 inch barrel on it. Um, fantastic, fantastic hunting handgun. Um, how do you carry it in the woods? <clears throat> big issue. Here's a solution for you. Um, this is uh, the um, uh, a custom leather holster made by Diamond D Custom Le Leather. Let's get them on their information right here. Diamond D Custom Leather, uh, hand built products uh, made in Alaska. There's little polar bears made in Alaska. This is, happens to be a model. They, I'm going to go through some of their product line. The guide's choice for the Colt Anaconda, 6-inch barrel, uh, right-handed. Um, that's their phone number if you want to call them. I'll show this a little bit better. Um, you can also look them up on the web here. I'll show this on a business card, show it better. But www.diamonddcustomleather.com. Diamond D, just the letter D, customleather.com. Um, Really, really, really nice products. Let's take a look at this thing. This holster is um, just super durable. Uh, is it built um, uh, for anything else? I don't think so. I think this thing is is built to last, man. This is something you take out and you use. If you take care of it, it will last you a lifetime. Look at the quality of the stitching, the fact that it's very evenly spaced uh, on the whole rig. Uh, it shows you that uh, the, the makers, um, the shop, uh, Diamond D Custom Leather, uh, knows what they're doing. They're, they're skilled craftsmen. Really nice piece of leather too. I'm not sure the camera is going to pick this up, but it's, it's real clean. It's like it doesn't have any imperfections in it. It's real nice. This thing's built for hardcore rugged use. In fact, in Alaska, um, you're often often faced with a situation like that. This is the cover of their of their catalog, um, which is really nice. I'll go through that. But uh, this gentleman who made me jealous because he's fishing in Alaska. Oh man. That's just awesome. But um, he's carrying a handgun. Why is he carrying a handgun? Is he worried about getting mugged? No. No. Well, maybe he is. I mean, I can't speak for him, but most likely he's worried about um, bears. His, you know, The other people on that river that are fishing are about eight and a half, nine feet tall and really furry and they weigh like, you know, 800 pounds. And if they want your fish, um, guess what? You give them your fish. In Alaska, you uh, often in the wilderness, uh, if you have a brain, carry a firearm uh, because there's some some uh, predators there that will uh, eat you for lunch. Um, and not not bad an eyelash. It's really where you're confronted with, by the utter indifference of nature. Let's try to get a close up here of the contact information. Um, there you go. There's the website. There's a phone number there is the email okay now let's go through the holster a little bit um, in terms of what it looks like on and um, I'll, I'm gonna shut off the camera and reposition it and I'll, I'll show you what this thing looks like and what are some of the features of it that are really great okay so here I am in my basement again snow day stuck at home with the kids but here's the holster um, and it's it's very simple to put on. Basically, put your put your arm through like that. The strap comes around, goes under your other arm, and there's a um, quick connect right here. You just snap it in there. Okay. The holster is now on you, and it's extremely extremely comfortable. Okay. There you go. So and this is adjustable up and down. There's um, screws that you can remove and, and move this around. You can tighten it down like so. Let me grab my firearm. Firearm is empty. It's been safety checked multiple times. Uh, finger off the trigger when you're holstering or unholstering. Practice that. Colt Anaconda. It's big, right? Pretty big. Um, 
goes right into the holster. Now remember, this holster is not fully broken in yet. It will, it will soften a little bit. There's this really cool um, piece of leather here that simply goes over the hammer so this gun cannot come out. This firearm cannot come out. And it's really, really comfortable if you wanted to cast for fish. Um, you'd have no problem. I have to see what it would feel like drawing a bow back, but I know I wear a pair of binoculars on a uh, similar position on my body when I hunt and shoot target. So I'm thinking even even if you use this as a backup for archery hunting, you'd have no, no, no problem whatsoever. <clears throat> there are accessories that you can get with it. This particular pistol, this holster came with um, uh, ammunition loops that um, that work rather well. Let me grab a round here. Um, let's try to get this up a little bit closer for you. And you can see these just fit right in there. Now I want to point out that uh, Diamond D leather, they really know what they're doing. I mean, the rounds fit in there just right. I mean, perfect. They're not going to come out. They're, and they're not, you know, you don't have to jam them in there and you don't have to really, you know, work yourself into a tizzy trying to get them out. So, and, um, and it, it really shows you that they, they did a great job in terms of putting it together. Uh, to draw the firearm, you'd have to remove that. Remember, this is uh, something to protect your life in case a big grizzly is coming after you or something like that, or you're hunting. You simply remove that uh, and you can, you can draw the firearm, okay? And so, you know, here you have it. Very, very nice. Um, in terms of retention, the retention is adjustable. There's a screw right here. The screw had, um, on the other end, the, the, between this end of the screw and, and the rest of the spacer, there's a rubber uh, piece that allows you to um, tighten down or loosen how you like it so you can customize the fit to your gun and um, uh, in terms of being able to draw and reholster. It's really, really uh, nice looking holster. You just reposition the camera. It's hard to do this with no camera person. It's a really nice looking holster uh, and it really serves a great purpose in terms of now allowing people that hunt with a handgun to have something. Man, you can just see that you can put this on and be super comfortable. I can't wait because I'm I want to put together a spring bear hunt and how styling would you be? This is so much more comfortable than carrying a bow, carrying a rifle. You just carry this, you climb up in your tree stand, you sit there for the afternoon and you're just as happy as a clam. You got something really nice um, and I, I, I honestly believe this is an heirloom quality piece. Um, I've gone through a lot of lousy holsters. I, I can't tell you much, but I can tell you a lousy holster when I see one. This holster um, fits what I believe is, is, um, is very high-end, custom, custom work. Um, the grain of leather is very consistent throughout, so they selected their, their hides very well. The workmanship throughout the whole piece, the straps, the stitching is, um, is really, really fantastic. This is not a holster that's built for um, looking good out on the town, okay? So it's not an exotic skin like elephant or shark skin or alligator. But you don't want that. You want something super, super durable. And this particular hide is, is going to last you forever. If you do your job, you take care of this leather. You don't store it in some you know, moldy old basement. Um, if you keep it dry, in a relatively dry, cool place, you condition it appropriately. You don't want to over-oil it and soften it up. You want it to be rigid. Um, this thing will last you, it'll last you forever, as long as you don't let it rot out. And you can even treat the stitching. There's lots of products to treat the stitching from keeping those from failing as well. It's just lovely. I'm going to go back, um, I'm going to reposition the camera and I'd like to go through their product line with you because I think they have some other things to offer that are really pretty cool. Okay, first and foremost, let's try to get you um, some better information on how do you contact these folks. Um, I think this is coming through pretty good. Um, there's Mike Barrett's card, he's the director of sales. All the contact information for the company is there. Um, Wasilla, Alaska, 
handmade in Wasilla. That's just fantastic. I don't think I have any other products that are handmade in Alaska, so that that's pretty cool. Um, they've uh, these um, holsters also. Um, here's just an advertisement. Um, what they look like. These holsters actually have gotten some attention in um, some hunting magazines. You can see here there was um, a, a really, actually a pretty nice article uh, in American Handgunner um, about uh, you know, carrying uh, in, in this particular holster, uh, Guide's Choice. This is the Guide's Choice model. And it's just got outstanding ratings. And if you ever get your hands on one, you stick a large firearm in it, you'll know why immediately. It's the, the quality is just obviously off the scale. It's really, really good. I love it. Um, the product catalog is really cool. There's lots of stuff in here that um, I think people would be very interested in and would be happy to own. Um, there's some company literature, of course. They make all kinds of holsters, hip holsters, thumb brakes, holsters for single action. The Guide's Choice, I think, is their top seller. That's what I showed you today. Um, and it can be worn in various configurations or adjusted appropriately to make it super, super comfortable. They make concealed carry holsters. Um, man, I'm, I'm telling you, uh, look at these prices in terms of high quality holsters. Um, you're talking 90 bucks for a custom handmade leather holster, 75, 55. Those are very, very, very reasonable prices. I'm telling you. Uh, the guide's choice for a chest rig is 155 bucks. That's a good deal. And you know, you can think, oh, I'm not going to spend 155 bucks for a chest holster. Well, I guarantee you, what you're going to do is you're going to go out and buy a piece of junk because I, I, I've been there, done it many, many times. And then you're going to wind up buying two other pieces of junk when you could have bought the right one the first time and, sa and actually saved yourself the money. Um, uh, again, they make other holsters. They make um, scabbards. So if you're on horseback, I guess you could probably fit those on an ATV as well. They make scabbards. Um, actually, the rifle scabbards are really, really nice. Beautiful. Um, belts. I did a video a while ago. You know, good belts, not necessarily a good gun belt. Here's some, uh, you know, dual thickness belts that would be great, great gun belts. Western style belts. If you're into cowboy action shooting, I'm personally not, but, um, boy, they make some stuff that would just just go really really well. Some accessories that can clamp onto the guide's choice. Uh, I showed you the ammo, ammo loops. They also have magazine pouches. You can carry a, a large frame uh, uh, semi-auto and they make um, some belt accessories too. Rifle slings. I like these rifle slings. They're really really nice magazine pouches. Uh, cartridge carriers, uh, archery, some archery arm guards for people that use those. Now this is this is a product right here. I like this. And this is why I think I should move to Alaska. They have a beer slinger. Okay, you can put your beer on your on your belt. Does that does that do I even need to say how that that's cool? I don't think so. Checkbook covers, business card holders. I'm definitely going to pick up one of the wallets. Oops, the wallets are fantastic, really well made. I bought a Maxpedition wallet. It's one of these ballistic nylon things. Man, yeah, I'm not into it. And some decorations for the house. Um, really lovely products. Nice company. Um, you know, what else can I say? Diamond D custom leather. Guide's Choice Chess Holster. It's just super, super quality at a very fair asking price. I don't think you could um, have to go any further to find yourself a rig that would make you very, very happy um, while you're hunting. Look how nice that thing is. Fits in there snug as a bug. 
Now again, keep in mind as this thing breaks in, this is a serious piece of leather here, that handgun will seat in there a little bit deeper. Um, I just got it a few days ago, I've been wearing it around in the basement um, just to, to see how it feels. I also want to say that uh, in terms of how you adjust the straps, they're screws, so you, there's some loops you can make them larger or smaller, and what goes around your waist is uh, very easily adjustable. Okay, so if you're wearing a heavy coat or you uh, eat too much, um, you can easily open it. It's just a, just a standard um, snap-on. Really, really nice, high-quality components, um, and, and and just just really, really well made uh, overall. Okay, thanks a lot.